This month, thousands of Oregon school kids will test drive some new statewide assessment tests. They're supposed to improve education, but a Coin6 investigation has uncovered that most students are expected to fail these tests. Now, Lisa Balick takes a closer look at the concerns surrounding these new tests, and she pins down state educators for answers. I looked at some of this. These are pretty tough. They are very tough, no question about it, Jeff. Now, if your kid has always passed the state test up until now, there's a good chance they won't next year. In fact, the state is planning on spending $12 million on a test they say your child is likely going to fail. Some parents say the pressure to perform is too much. What the test say? Pass, 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 Especially pass, now with pass, new pass, test pass, standards. To walk into kindergarten next year and be tested on his first day of kindergarten when he's already nervous. Teachers are worried kids are being set up for failure. There's high stakes and fear all the way down the line. When it comes to the new statewide Smarter Balance test next spring, here's some shocking news. You expect 65% of the kids not to pass this test. Is that true? Uh, yeah, that is true. That means only 35% are expected to pass. Deputy Superintendent of Public Instruction Rob Saxton says that compares to the current Oaks test, where at least 75% usually meet or exceed benchmarks. By having students fail these tests, they will blame themselves. They will be labeled a failure. The new exams in math and reading and writing, developed by a private company, would test common core curriculum. That's national higher learning standards adopted by states four years ago. Kids will now have to demonstrate deeper thinking on these assessments, called smarter balance tests. Most of those multiple choice, fill in the bubble questions are going to disappear. Replaced by critical thinking questions and lots of writing to explain and prove answers. Here's a sample fourth grade math problem. It asks you to multiply 23 times 49. But it's not that simple. What you have to do is look at two different methods, figure out which one is wrong, and then explain how to fix it. As a mental health therapist by training, you know that kids walk into these exams with an incredible amount of anxiety. And then you have these questions designed in this sort of gotcha way, and they're not gonna be in a place where they're going to be able to answer them effectively. Why give a test, though, a year from now when the expectation is most kids will not be able to do well on the test. Saxton, a former teacher and principal, tells me the test will be a wake-up call. Bottom line is our standard's too low. We need to set a standard that says this is what you need to do in order to be college and career ready, and if too few of you are passing it right now, we need to do a better job on the education front. The sample test questions indicate kids will spend a lot of hours taking the exams. For example, Writing essays starting with third grade could take 70 minutes, and that's right after the kids have to read passages and take notes about a video for research for that essay. Some parents and teachers worry whether the tests are developmentally appropriate. To actually write the extent that it's going to require for math, like was brought up earlier, or for other, other subjects, it's going to take some kids, like, I've heard seven hours to complete um, in third grade to complete this, this assessment. Opting out is one way some parents keep their kids from taking the standardized tests. State law allows a parent to write a letter citing a disability or religious reason for exempting their student. Yeah. Are you all planning on opting out the kids? I already have. Yeah. We have. But if not enough kids take the test, their school is publicly marked deficient on the state's report card. I found that around the country now several states are delaying the new exams. Why not just start and implement it in terms of the testing with that kindergarten group coming in? So we should have students who aren't ready for college and career for the next 12 years. Some longtime teachers, though, tell me they wonder whether the push to test is missing the mark. I think we've got this, like, vicious cycle mm -hmm. of, of raising the bar. So everyone's, oh, look, this school's doing bad, and look at this achievement gap, and then, like, oh, we're narrowing it. Oh, and now the, the score to pass has gotten raised, and, like, oh, look at all these bad schools, and we narrow the achievement. Oh, it's getting better, and now we've got this new test that's much, much harder. Good job, guys. Very nice. There are millions of federal dollars for state education tied to teaching and testing to higher standards. I asked state education leaders if there's still time for Oregon to pull back and not be a testing pioneer. Is there any chance the state will consider delaying the implementation of the test next year? Um, 
Well, there's always chances at everything, but I don't, I don't believe so. We've got to start sometime, and um, next spring is the time. Now, I just okay. spoke with the head of the statewide teachers union, the OEA. Mm -hmm. She tells me that they are working behind the scenes with state leaders, including the governor's office, to try okay. and come up with alternative test to perhaps try and delay this one. All right. It was a great report, and we did read through this, and a lot of people are saying that it's just very intricate. It's convoluted. In other words, kids are just trying to decipher what the question yeah. is. I had to read over this fact. three times just to get through the first two right. on this, and there's about 15 questions. They may actually know the information, but right. they can't understand the question. <laughs> In some cases, that's yeah. what they're saying. Okay, okay. How, how about this? If you'd like to see this test, we posted it on coin.com, right. mm -hmm. and you can take the test. And this is what, designed for a fourth grader? That's a fourth grade question that's seven pages long. Okay. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Actually, get on, get on coin.com and take it. Yeah. Now I'm going to be curious to see what you guys have to say about it. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks, we Lisa. know you'll